مرحبا بكم في قناة أطلانتس قناة العملات القديمة والنادرة لا تنسوا بالضغط على زر الأعجاب وتفعيل جرس الاشتراك حتى يصلكم كل جديد على قناتنا Top 11 Most Valuable Roosevelt Dimes Worth Money The Roosevelt Dime is so named because it bears the image of President Franklin D. Roosevelt on one side. And as the coin has been produced since 1946, there are plenty of them around. But not all Roosevelt Dimes are the same. And some of them can be worth a lot more than their face value. So which ones are worth looking out for? And just what is it that makes them so interesting to coin collectors? That's what we're going to find out. As we look at the 11 most valuable Roosevelt Dimes in existence. 1. 1975 Roosevelt Dime, no S proof PGCSPR 68. The most valuable Roosevelt Dime ever to be sold was minted in 1975. It lacks the S mint mark, identifying it as being minted in San Francisco. And it's one of only two such coins known to exist. It was first identified by a collector who bought five sets of proof coins in 1975. She noticed that in two of the sets, the dime didn't have the S mark. Intrigued, she sent one of the coins to the magazine Coin World for them to review. And she later sent both to the ANACS, an organization that authenticated coins. When ANACS certified one of them in 1978, collectors began to hunt for more examples. With almost 3 million proof sets produced in 1975, it seemed only a matter of time before more no S dimes were found. But amazingly, that isn't what happened. Those two original coins remain the only ones ever discovered. With collector's interest peaked, the original purchaser sold both proof sets onto a renowned dealer, Fred Vollmer. Vollmer quickly found a buyer willing to pay $38,550 for the set containing this coin. The no S dime from the set later went to the PCGS the Professional Coin Grading Service. They graded it PR68, meaning it had only a few, barely visible imperfections. In 2011, it was sold again, fetching the princely sum of $349,600. And eight years later, it was offered for sale once more. When the hammer fell, the price including a 20 percenter buyer's premium was $456,000. That might sound like a lot. But the canny buyers, Mitch and Justin Spivak, clearly thought there was still a profit to be made. Just a few months later, they successfully resold the coin through an agent for an eye-watering $516,000. 2. 1968 Roosevelt Dime No S Proof PCGSPR 68 it wasn't only in 1975 that things went wrong with the mint mark on some Roosevelt dimes. It first happened in 1968. And again, it was coins minted in San Francisco that were missing their SS. Today, there are estimated to be only around 12 such coins from 1968 in existence. And examples in the best condition are even more scarce. That means there's strong demand from collectors. So when a coin grade PR68 by the PCGS came up for auction in May 2015, Competition was fierce. Thirteen different bidders slugged it out before the winner triumphed with a bid of $29,375. Including the buyer's premium, they paid $31,300 to add it to their collection. 3. 1983 Roosevelt Dime No S Proof PCGSPR 70 Deep Cameo In 1983, the missing mint mark struck again. And it was once again the San Francisco mint that was affected. The quality of this example is what saw it achieve its high price at auction. It was a proof, made for collectors rather than for circulation. And it was in the best possible condition, graded PR70 Deep Cameo by the PCGS. Deep Cameo coins have a particularly intense frosted finish on the raised parts. That contrasts with a highly polished ground. Deep Cameos are only seen in the first few coins in a production run. This example was sold in February 2016. Eleven bidders battled it out, but only two remained in the competition beyond $10,000. The determined pair eventually took the price to $20,490. 4. 1999 D. Roosevelt Dime MS65 Broad struck on a cent planchet. Immediately you look at this coin, you can see there's something wrong. It's brown instead of silver. And four arcs of metal are missing from the outside edges. If this were the result of wear and tear, the coin would be virtually worthless but it isn't. Instead, it's what happened when a planchet the metal disc used for a coin was too big for the design. Usually, a collar would prevent this from happening. The planchet simply couldn't fit inside, so couldn't be struck. But this coin was struck out of collar. Mint errors of this kind rare and very collectible. 
This coin came to the market in 2009 and fetched $14,375. 5. 1949 Roosevelt Dime PCG SMS 68 FB This Roosevelt Dime fetched a high price because of its formidable condition. It was graded MS-68 by the PCGS, making it the finest example from 1949 ever seen by the independent organization. The FB in the certification refers to the two bands on the torch depicted on the reverse of the coin. FB stands for full band and indicates that all the detail is present on both bands. This level of detail is quite rare. The obverse the side with Roosevelt's portrait featured iridescence. And the reverse had a slight olive patina. As a coin in a class of its own, it got bidders very excited. When the hammer fell at the August 2018 auction, the price was $13,200. 6. 1956 Roosevelt Dime PGC SMS 68 FB This Roosevelt Dime from 1956 is another that achieved a high auction price on the basis of its condition. It was rated Mint State 68 by the PCGS, making it the best example from that year they'd ever seen. And it too achieved the FB designation, meaning all the detail on the torch bands was present. The obverse of the coin had iridescent bands of violet, blue, green and gold. And the reverse was in brilliant condition, with just some blue toning at the edges. Again, the lure of owning a best-in-class coin meant that collectors were prepared to spend big bucks. The auction took place in December 2013, and the coin achieved a price of just under $10,000. 1955 Roosevelt Dime PCG SMS 68 At first glance, this 1955 coin looks very similar to its 1968 cousin. It has the same Mint State 68 designation from the PCGS. And it even has similar iridescence on the obverse, with copper, magenta and blue tones above Roosevelt's portrait and extending down his face. This example, though, didn't have quite as much detail. The two bands of the torch shown on the reverse side weren't absolutely complete. Nevertheless, it was the best graded example of a 1955 Roosevelt dime. And that meant it netted a cool $9,300 when it came up for auction in September 2020. 8. 1950 Roosevelt Dime PCG SMS 68 FB This 1950 dime wasn't quite one of a kind. But it was one of three minted that year graded MS 68 by the PCGS. And all three had the FB designation. If you wanted to get your hands on a 1950 Roosevelt dime, then, this was top-notch. Both sides of the coin were cleanly struck. The obverse had cinnamon-colored sprinkles towards the edge, while the reverse had a broad swathe of orange-red. It was sold at a specialist auction in April 2014. The winning bidder paid $8,813, including a 17.5% buyer's premium to secure it. 9. 1965 Silver Roosevelt Dime From 1965 onwards, Roosevelt dimes stopped being made of silver and were made of clad metal instead. But this is a rare exception, a 1965 coin made of silver. The 1964 silver dimes and 1965 clad versions were struck at the same time. And at this mint, it seems a silver planchet was mistakenly used for a 1965 dime. There were no mint marks for the 1965 coins, so there's no way of knowing which location was responsible. This error resulted in a very unusual coin. When it came to auction in January 2006, it sold for $8,625. 10. 1982 D. Roosevelt Dime Mint Standard MS 67FB In 1982 and 1983, no mint set Roosevelt Dimes were produced. There aren't so many collectors of clad coins like this one. But for those that exist, this means there are no sets around to fill gaps in the years. And that means that when a good quality coin appears, it can attract a lot of interest. So it was with this mint standard Roosevelt dime, minted in Denver in 1982. It was in excellent condition, rated MS67 by the PCGS. That made it the best example known to any of the major independent coin grading services. And the designation FB meant it had full bands. It came up for auction in 2014 and made $1,410 a record for a coin from this year. 11. 1982 Roosevelt dime, no P mint standard MS65. This dime isn't in the same league of collectability as others on our list. But it's still worth considerably more than its face value. Like the No S 1975 dimes, it's missing its mint mark. In this case, the P indicating it was minted in Philadelphia, is missing. This example came up for sale recently. It was graded MS 65, meaning it was in mint state with a good, firm strike and high quality luster. 
there were just a few small, scattered contact marks on the surface. It fetched a not to be sneezed at $265. We hope you've enjoyed our look at 11 of the most valuable Roosevelt dimes ever minted. Excellent condition or rare mint errors are usually the reasons some coins are so valuable. So if you have some old dimes in the back of a drawer, now might be the time to check them. If you're lucky enough to have an unusual specimen, you could be in the money.